Hi, I'm Raven Barber. And I'm Christian Kreiner. And you, and you are, are watching, watching This, this Week in Mount Athletics. Athletics. Once again, I'm Senior Raven Barber. And I'm Junior, Christian Krana, and we are members of the Mountain Basketball Team. Oh, and we are your host this week. We would like to welcome everyone to the 11th edition of This Week in Mount Athletics, presented by the Carriage House. So Raven, how excited are you to be back on the court this year? Man, it's the best feeling. I can't imagine what I'd be playing if I didn't do basketball. What sport would you play if you weren't playing basketball? Psh, well, I'd probably play soccer because it's a, it's a big deal in Croatia. Okay, big deal. I probably would play curling. You know, I like to sweep the ice. That's interesting. <laughs> well, thankfully, we have basketball in our first, uh, first two games this week. That's right. We played at Pittsburgh on Friday and had our home opener Tuesday against Hartford. Why don't I pass this one off for you? <laughs> okay. The men's basketball team rallied back to defeat Hartford on Tuesday, 70-63. Rashad West shot incredible 7 for 10 from the field, including 4 for 6 from beyond the arc, to total 20 points in the winning effort. The men's basketball team also played Pittsburgh on Friday and was hot from beyond the arc early as they drained 6 threes in the opening 8 minutes to take a 18 to 17 lead. However, they could not hold on as they dropped their season opener 80 to 48 to Pittsburgh. Sophomore Xavier Owens paced them out with a career high 15 points. You know, Christian, we weren't the only ones who played some ball as the women's basketball team visited number five Merlin on Friday as before a season opener. Mm, you're right, Ray. Why don't you make, like, Selena Mann and steal this highlight? The women's basketball team got their early lead 2-0 in the game against fifth-ranked Merlin, but the Terrapins came away with an 88-47 win. Junior Kayla Gross scored a team-high 17 points with five rebounds, while ju fellow junior Jesse Kaufman chipped in eight points. The cross country teams raced at the NCAA Mid-Atlantic uh, Regionals on Friday as well. I think I'll just <laughs> run with this one, if that's cool with you. That's fine. Coaches make us run enough anyway. Both men's and women's teams brought four runners to the regional on Friday. Senior Chris Swisco was the men's top finisher as he finished 61st overall. The women's top finisher was sophomore Megan Shaw, finishing 83rd overall. That includes the men's and women's cross-country season. And now it's time to announce this week Mount Athlete of the Week. And I'm proud to give this award to Rashad Wack. Wack scored 20 points with six rebounds and four steals in a win against Hartford on Tuesday. He also scored 11 points on Friday to give him an average of 15.5 points a game. <coughs> the women's basketball team will be traveling to Ryder on Friday and this has his home opener on Monday against Campbell. Let's see what junior guard Sydney Henderson has to say about that. Hey Mount fans, this is junior Sydney Henderson from the Mount women's basketball team. Did you miss us because we are back at the Not Arena on Monday for our home opener against Campbell at 7 p.m. We had a great season at home last season and hope that we can get the 2012-13 home slate off on the right foot. It will be a great night for basketball and you could be the difference to help us break the Camels back on our season opener. Hope to see you on Monday. Go Mount! Now we'll have the women's soccer highlights for the month of October and November. The swim team will also be leaving 
for the Radford Invitation on Thursday and finishing up on Saturday, so good luck to the squad. Last, but certainly not the least, we will be traveling to our third game of the season against American today. Remember that you can get all of your Mount Athletics news at mountathletics.com and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram by searching for Mount Athletics. You can also like us on Facebook by texting like Mount Athletics to 32665. Don't forget that the next time you're at the Not Arena to enter our tweet pick of the day contest, all you have to do is take a picture of the action and tweet it at Mount Athletics. And if your picture is chosen as the pick of the, of the day, you can win a cool Mount Athletics prize. Don't delay and show your Mount pride today. And remember that there is a chance to win a cool Mount Athletics prize in every This Week in the Mount Athletics episode presented by the Carriage House. Once again, I'm Christian Kreiner. And I'm Raven Barber. And, and this, this was This Week, week in Mount, Mount Athletics. Athletics.